Hey, did you know that every 52 minutes someone dies of skin cancer? And one in five Americans will develop skin cancer in their lifetime. The stats can be startling, but the good news is if you catch it early, melanoma can be treated successfully. Next month uh, is Skin Cancer Awareness Month, and the Dermatology and Laser Center of Charleston can help you identify that possible skin cancers. We welcome uh, Kaylin Ashford uh, to go along with uh, telling us uh, some of those things that can help prevent uh, a lot of people just don't realize they're young or even middle-aged. They get out in the sun constantly, and they just don't realize this is not only causing damage to the skin, but it can be uh, very dangerous damage to the skin as well. Yes. So everyone um, thinks that it's okay to get color mm -hmm. or um, have a base tan when they go into summer. That's not what you want to do. Mm -hmm. um, preventing... Um, Sun exposure is number one. Mm -hmm. Staying out of the sun, seeking shade between the hours of 10 and 2. Also wearing a broad spectrum sunscreen. Sure. At least SPF 30, mm -hmm. if not 50. Mm -hmm. So that would be number one. And then um, knowing the signs of early detection. So uh, there's a few things that you can do. And remember the ABCD E's of melanoma. Mm -hmm. So asymmetry, border, color, mm -hmm. diameter and evolution. Mm -hmm. um, asymmetry, if you can split a line down your mole mm -hmm. and it's able to fold in half and be pretty symmetric, wow. then that can um, show that it mm -hmm. might be okay. Mm -hmm. uh, border, you don't want any border irregularity. Mm -hmm. Color, you would like it to be even throughout. Mm -hmm. You don't want a mole that's going to be dark on one side, light on the other, or have any mm -hmm. um, different colors throughout it. Mm -hmm. The diameter, um, we used to think that six millimeters or smaller was okay, but we've been seeing that three millimeters is actually, um, uh -huh. we're seeing more melanomas in that size. And six millimeters is about the size, size of, of a pencil, pencil eraser, the yes. top of a pencil eraser. Uh, and back in the late 90s, I was detected with melanoma mm -hmm. and went in and I had to have it removed. Thank goodness it didn't get into my bloodstream or right. go anywhere else. Right. Uh, but if I would have ignored that and just said, hey, you know, I grew up in Hawaii, I don't need to see uh, dermatology, mm -hmm. uh, it, it could have been deadly. Yes. It definitely yes. could have been deadly. But that's Absolutely. exactly what it was. It looked just like a little brown, round dot on my lower back. Exactly. Uh, and dermatologist said, hey, let's just take a little biopsy, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. and." Um, you know, everything was painless, you yes. know, to go in. That's the most important thing, yes. too, is, is early detection uh, and, and to have people uh, go often as well. Right, mm -hmm. exactly. So at least once a year is what we mm -hmm. recommend. If you've had a skin cancer in the past, squamous cell, basal cell, melanoma, mm -hmm. um, at least once a year, if not every three months mm -hmm. to six months for early detection. And, you know, it's important to know the moles on your body or different lesions that may not be healing on your body and be aware of the evolution of the moles. But mm -hmm. not everyone has a trained eye for this, so it's important to seek a professional. Mm -hmm. Okay, you've got something coming up. Uh, Skin Cancer Awareness Month is yes. next month. Uh, Monday, whether they call it Melanoma yes. Monday, mm -hmm. uh, coming up uh, on Monday, May the 2nd, and this is a free screening. The only little problem is it's been sold out. Yes. But people can get on a waiting list. How do they get on that waiting list? Because it is, it is very crucial uh, for, for people. Uh, a lot of people think they can go to the beach and just wear like a baseball cap and that's fine. No. But yet there's a lot of exposure on right. the side of the face, on the ears, right. on the neck, on the shoulders. Right. That little cap is really not doing much it's good. Not, it's doing some. It's doing a little yeah. bit. It's better than nothing. But you're yeah. right. People forget their ears. They per forget the back of their neck. They forget that the sun comes in from all mm -hmm. angles. Um, unfortunately, you're right. It mm -hmm. has um, uh, been filled. Sure. But um, to get on a waiting list, you can call our office 843-556-8886 and the extension 1101. That's exactly what you need to do. Mm -hmm. and, and, and you can also maybe come in a little bit later, if, if, since this is already completely booked, mm -hmm. to go in a little bit later and get that examination. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you so much for being yeah, here today. Yeah. So, so vitally important. People uh, sort of just kind of brush it off a lot of times until they are affected by it, and then sometimes it might be too late, but you can get that early detection. Now let's turn it over to Aaron.